Kenya has detected its first uh, cases of the Omicron variant among travellers at airports. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe says three travellers who tested positive have been quarantined. Kwage was speaking during a meeting with the Council of Governors in Mombasa, where he ruled out the possibility of a lockdown, while at the same time urging Kenyans to get vaccinated to prevent contracting severe COVID-19 disease. Almost three weeks since South Africa notified the world of the detection of a new variant that was driving its fourth wave and one that was later identified as Omicron and categorized as a variant of concern, Kenya is now among 78 countries in the world that have detected the variant. We have actually detected the Omicron variant among some of the travelers who have been, um, uh, who have been traveling uh, through Kenya. And uh, we have at least three cases so far. We have a lot of other samples uh, that we are sequencing. So in the next two days, I will be able to confirm the spread or otherwise of the Omicron variant uh, in the country. According to the Ministry of Health, the three, two Kenyans and one South African national, were traveling from South Africa before they tested positive for the virus at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. We are not announcing a lockdown. We are not announcing uh, a curfew hours. This is something we are observing. And in the next two, three days, we will be able to tell the country whether it is necessary uh, for us to go back to some of those measures. As Kagwe indicates that there is no need for panic among Kenyans at the moment, the World Health Organization is concerned about the spread of the Omicron variant across the globe. Omicron is spreading at a rate we have not seen with any previous variant. Africa is now officially in the fourth wave of the pandemic, which is partly due to the Omicron variant. There's been an 83% surge in new cases on the continent this week compared to the previous week. This is the fastest surge recorded since May last year. According to a December report by the South African Medical Research Council on the symptoms of the Omicron variant, among patients in South Africa, tiredness or fatigue, mild headache, body aches and a scratchy throat were the most common. The symptoms, a faraway clinical picture from the usual loss of senses of taste and smell, and a major drop in oxygen levels as experienced with COVID-19 patients infected with the Delta variant. Evidence from South Africa is that while hospitalizations have increased by almost 70% in the past seven days, intensive care unit bed occupancy rates remain low at 7.5%. We are confirming that... Um our oxygen plants are functional and the ICU beds are ready. Preparedness is always the best way to deal with these kind of surprises. The Ministry of Health is now urging Kenyans to come out and get vaccinated to avoid contracting severe COVID-19 disease. So far, only 3,345,520 of the adult population in Kenya has been fully vaccinated. That a representation of just 12.3% of adults' people. 799 people have tested positive for the virus in the last 24 hours from a sample size of 7,529, yielding a positivity rate of 10.6%. One patient was also classified as a late death report. 147 patients are admitted in various health facilities countrywide. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.